Welcome back. It is uh, the end of September. As always, we have Georgia Nichols come in and with a look ahead to October. We have you a little bit early today just because of the way the show is set up. Uh, so thanks for coming in early for oh, us. Yeah, I <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> okay, and here we go. So, um, it's funny that I'm pretending to yawn because Aries, and we're talking about Aries right off the bat, Aries needs to go to bed. Hmm. Um, uh, symbolically, not literally, but symbolically, the sun is as far away from them as it gets all year, and the sun represents the energy, uh, one's energy, so it means that they are tired, they're bagged, they really need more rest, and it could even be because I see that they're very, very ambitious right now. Mars is at the top of their chart, this only happens once every two years, so it'll be there for the whole month too, so they're kind of go, 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 <sighs> go, 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 <sighs> right? Taurus. Taurus is um, a a similar but a little different. Taurus wants to pull their act together. They're on this sort of roll, like a do-it-yourself, turn over a new leaf. They want to be efficient. They want to be productive. They want to get better health, uh, uh, more healthy. And I see that they also want to travel. And they want to explore, like publishing, the media, medicine, the law. They want to explore new areas. And, uh, but they're really keen to get stuff done. They're very efficient this month. It's a hard-working sign, Taurus. Uh, Gemini, ah uh, ha ha. Gemini, it's all about fun. Romance, love, vacations. If they can slip away on a vacation now, perfect for them. Uh, they want to have fun. They want to uh, enjoy the arts, movies, entertainment, uh, theater sports in this town, let's say. And also, they're very passionate. Their sex drive is amped. But I also see they could be having, for this month, disputes about money, shared property, mm couples who are disputing about, you know, especially if they separate, that kind of thing, or inheritances. Nevertheless, it's fun for them. Cancer. Now, Cancer, I have to say, once every two years, Mars is opposite their sign, and Mars represents aggressive energy. It is opposite their sign for the whole month, so they will be annoyed with partners and close friends. So they just have to kind of suck it up and be patient, because it'll pass and then it won't come again for two years. Meanwhile, their focus is on home, family, and their private life very much, and a parent, perhaps. Leos. Leos is a very busy time for them. Uh, they are talking to everybody, making lists, taking short trips, out there doing everything, and they're working hard as well. So they're kind of giving it all they've got, and they can do it. So they can get a lot done, and they've got the energy to do it. So nothing's in the way for them. It's very strong. This is a particularly strong day for Leo today. Um, Virgos. Virgo, it's about money. They want to earn money. They have big plans to spend money this year, and I see that they want to spend money and have fun uh, doing creative things. Virgos are going to be very good in sports, and Sedines are, are Virgo. So I see there's a hot month in, uh, what is it, is October? Hot for them in terms of competitive sports, that sort of thing, but they just want to get out there and have fun, and they're focused on money and boosting their earnings. Libra, this is a fantastic time for Libra. This is maybe Libra's best birthday, I would say, because 12 years ago, Jupiter was in Libra. 12 years in the future, Jupiter will be in Libra. And now, in the middle of a 24-year stretch, Jupiter is in Libra, Mm. right? And for the Librans, it's, ta-da, here it is, this moment, right? So they're happy, they're content, everything's going their way. The only downside is they might gain weight this year, but because everything's coming to them, right? Everything's coming to them. It's a lovely time for them. But they do have some stress at home. I see that. Something chaotic there is causing a little stress. Scorpio. Scorpio is kind of playing it behind the scenes. They're kind of, and they are a secretive side anyhow. But they're waiting for their birthday. They're waiting to jump out. So they should make plans, make plans for the future year. And I see they're very aggressive in their communications. Strong if they're teachers, writers, actors. Um, they're very strong. Sagittarians. Sagittarians want to schmooze. They want to have fun. They're enjoying their friends. They might join gyms. Oh yeah, they're very athletic. Uh, they might also join clubs, uh, groups, associations. They're really enjoying their friendships, and they're spending money big. I don't know what they're doing, but they're spending their money. Mm. When Sagittarius do things, they do them in a big way. <laughs> now, Capricorn. Capricorn is really probably the strongest sign coming up this. Well, it's hard to say that, but very, very, very strong. Mars is in their sign, so they're forthright, aggressive. And the sun is at the top of their chart, shining down on them, making them look attractive to everybody. So everybody is going to open the door for Capricorn. So if they want something, they should go, go, go. They will get it. Aquarius. Aquarius, they want to blow town. They want to get out of everything. They just, they've had enough. They want to like be free. And, but I will give them a little warning. Something behind the scenes could be harmful to them, or mm, I don't want to scare them. But if they think something fishy is going on, or they can't quite trust somebody, they should listen to that hunch. Mm-hmm. Something behind the scenes is eh, a little funny there. And finally, Pisces. Pisces is a very passionate time for them. 
but they're also concerned with shared property, taxes, debt, uh, inheritances. They're like focused on all that and they've got to clean up some loose ends there. Meanwhile, I see them very active physically, probably competitively and with athletics and sports and uh, pushing it. And there we have it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Georgia. To learn more about your in-depth forecast for the entire year, Georgia's annual forecasts are available on Kindle and on her website at georgianichols.com.